All right, I got the tripod better situated. Go ahead and unfold it. This is history here. Okay, this is when DSL was the newest internet. Break the speed limit in your neighborhood. Now, high-speed internet access is right around the corner at Radio Shack. You gotta see it to believe it. Come in today and give it a try at the new Microsoft Internet Center at Radio Shack. You've got questions, we've got answers. They don't use that slogan anymore. Now it's just do stuff. Things like, uh, this one's a pretty thick one. Advertises the Microsoft Internet Center. Get a hands-on high-speed internet demonstration only at Radio Shack. I don't know why I said demonstration. Weird. So there's, um, the newest computer of the time. You know, the big honking monitor and where it was all the rage to have your computer a different color other than gray. Look at that. Ethernet is the newest thing. Don't get disconnected. DSL or satellite. What about cable internet? Uh, they didn't even have that yet. Well, if they did, it wasn't very widespread. So, turn the page. Advertises what MSN internet can do for you. Says the happy people around the internet stand. Oh, honey, I think we should get this internet. Nah, you'll be looking at porn all day. You'll be cheating on me, ho. News, entertainment, sports, e-shop, e-mail. That's when everything had e in it. So here's some computer accessories. Oh, what's this? Five ninety nine ninety nine. Compact i no. Compact iPack home internet appliance. Email shop trade wireless keyboard and pointing device. One phone line. One electrical cord. You're on the net. Hey, wait a minute. <gasps> they spelled your wrong. See. They used the the wrong your. It should have been the Y O U apostrophe R E. <gasps> naughty, naughty. It is uh, oh, laser mice are the newest things. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Ah uh, yes, pocket PCs with Windows C E. <gasps> A 206 megahertz processor. Wow, that's like lightning fast. Like phew, whoa, where'd that internet go? Turn the page. Here's some specs on some computers. Last chance for these great educational compact computers, monitors, and printers. Oh yes, the big thick monitors. Two forty nine ninety nine for that giant brick. Wow, a ten twenty four by seven sixty eight maximum resolution. Fifteen inches. Wow, that's that that sucks. Let's see, four ninety seven. Let's see what that bought you in the time. Celeron processor at five hundred sixty six megahertz, sixty four megs of RAM, eleven meg video memory. Hmm, I guess I can't play Half-Life, that's for sure. 15 gig hard drive, 56k modem, comes with a uh, webcam, 40x CD-ROM that doesn't burn anything. Amazing. There's your standard printers there. Man, they really were excited about pocket PCs in the time. Alright, I'll admit when I was younger I really wanted one, but you know I didn't know what I was going to do with it. Let's see, wow, 32 megs of RAM. I guess it's pretty good for a little sucker like that. MP3 capable Windows Media Player. That's pretty cool. That's a funky looking laptop. Ah, yes, the QCAT. That was definitely a failed gadget of the time. See, with the QCAT, apparently you could, uh, in the time, go to Ray Shack and get one for free. I'm not sure how that worked. But see, these are QCAT barcodes where if you scan one while it's hooked up to your computer at home, uh, it's going to redirect you automatically to the RadioShack.com website that the product is on, so you don't have to type in SKU numbers and stuff like that. Good idea, poorly in implemented. Turn the page. Mice. Oh yes, laser mice, the newest thing. Holy crap, $69.95. Wow. What else we got? Our funky, curvy keyboards. Apparently they liked those back then too. Look at... Oh, wait, no, that's a girl. Look at her. Ah, kick your head. What the, the hell is that thing? What is that thing? Microsoft Sidewinder Game Voice adds voice communication within games over in. That thing transmits voice. It looks like a funky controller. There's some PC controllers. Apparently people played a lot more PC games back then. Uh, look at this. XP wasn't even out yet. Windows Millennium. Holy crap, I had that on one of my laptops once. Man, right after I installed that, I got an illegal instruction error right when I booted it up. 100 meg zip drive. <laughs> Zip drives last long. Ooh, wow, a 25 pack of floppy disks on sale. Computer speakers. This is really a trip down memory lane, so if you're bored, stop watching. Clear sound, long range, half price. 900 megahertz cordless phone. Wow, as opposed to what's not 900 megahertz. Right. Oh, now we get into the good stuff. Can't talk, beep back. Oh, yes, look at this little 
internet, um, little IM devices, full QWERTY keyboard on them. They were $100. They cost $15 a month. Service starting as low as, okay, apparently $15 didn't get you unlimited. Let's see the fine print down here. Mail and rebates, and uh, requires minimum service, and I was just telling what you need, uh, what requirements you have to meet to get the mail and rebate. There's some headsets there. Oh, look at this. A pager. Wow. Oh, oh, okay, now we get into the cell phones here. Prepaid cellular track phone. Well, that company still exists. The logo just looks nothing like that now. Wow, look at that technological phone. Uh, it's got a full... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10 digit... Wait, no. Yeah, 10... <laughs> it's got a full 10-digit display on the screen. Holy crap, and it flips closed. That's... That's fancy right there. Nokia. Who's the carrier of this Nokia? Oh, this is track phone again. You know, I think I had a customer come in with that phone not too long ago wanting to reload it. I'm looking at it, I'm like, geez, you can get a new one for 10 bucks. What's this? Ah, oh, this is Sprint. 149.99. Dual band, digital and analog band access, plus it's wireless internet ready. Wait, wireless it? Wireless internet on a screen like that? Holy crap, that's WAP internet to the extreme. Ooh, flip style button covers. Kyocera, they still make uh, Virgin Mobile's phones now. Next page. This is going to be a long video. This is, if you like your trips down memory lane, keep watching. This thing gets better. Got a wired headset. Nobody's heard of the term wireless yet. Sprint prepaid phone cards. I'm on my headset, homie. There's our more cordless phones there. All 900 megahertz. You're not going to see any 5.8 or 6.0 DECT gigahertz here. Turn the page. You know, it's funny, I, when I found this brochure, I checked, like, these SKU numbers, like, 43-5818. They're all radio check SKU numbers. I checked them, like, none of them exist anymore. Oh, look at this. Get $10 off your purchase of the store when you sign up for Sprint Long Distance. It's got a picture of an old $10 bill. <laughs> Memories. Micro cassette tapes. Answering machines. More answering machines. What's this? Mail station. Just plug messing in. So I'm going to email this good for you. Huh. Well, that's that's a pretty cool idea for the year 2000. Unfortunately, it's not wireless, though. So. Caller ID blocker keeps your name from... Wow, $20 for that brick that stops your name from showing on caller ID systems. They still need this? Advertises phone cords, accessories. This is when designer house phones were all the rage. Now you can get an M&M &M phone. Or this slinky phone. do 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 uh, Oh wait, no, that's the log song from Minnie Stimpy. More fancy phones. Uh, the see-through ones. They were still popular in the year 2000? I thought that was a 90s thing. Oh, I guess in the year 2000, people still weren't over the 90s yet. They were still kind of stuck. All RCA speakers on sale. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not much of a speaker person, so I'm going to whiz right through this section. <laughs> whiz. Portable CD players. Man, this was when everybody had to have one. And they were 60 bucks back then. Look at 59.97, What's this? Ooh, pre-iPod. Clear a personal digital player. Download everything. Removable 48 megabyte memory card. Backs playbacks up to 96 minutes. Removable memory card. I wonder what kind of memory card that was. Hmm. See all the QCAT barcodes? Man, now you can go to Radio Shack and get, well, anywhere, and get a portable CD player for, like, 20 bucks. Fancy home theater system. Again, this isn't really my thing, so I'm going to whiz right past it. Oh, DVDs. The newest thing. No one's even heard of Blu-ray yet. 350 bucks for a DVD player. Holy shit. That is crazy. Ooh, look at these flat-screen TVs, which aren't the flat screens you see today. They're still the big old two brick ones, but yeah. Portable TVs. Now wouldn't really work. Actually, no, they wouldn't work. RCA TVs, big or small. $200 for a five-inch color TV. Oh, uh, it's like for the car, I see. Oh, I remember these. These were pretty cool. Oh, the idea of having a TV and a boombox. I thought that was always kind of cool. Eh, you know what? You don't get to see this part yet? It's going to be a two-part video. Please hold.